Hey, what's up guys? It's Nashcrafter and welcome to my channel for another episode of Stardew Valley. Welcome back guys. So it's been a little bit of time since I last uploaded a video on Stardew Valley. I think it's been like a week, maybe two weeks, uh, but that is uh, for a good reason. It is the holiday season. So we just had Christmas, we're going into New Year's and you guys, some, some crazy things, some very unexpected things have come to Stardew Valley since I last left you guys, and I want to talk a little bit about it. I want to talk about some things because we have a lot to go over and a lot to discuss. Well, kind of, sort of. It's not really a lot. I'll, I'll try to breeze through it so we're not like super talky at the beginning of the episode, but I feel like it's important, so please stay tuned. Uh, I just want to kind of go over some things so things make sense. So this is where it gets interesting because you guys, a brand new Stardew Valley update. Actually, I'm gonna even head back because we're gonna show the little update right here on the screen. <laughs> um, so a brand new Stardew Valley update came out to the game. It's the 1.5 update. It's the biggest update to come to Stardew Valley since the game initially launched. It first came out. It's the biggest update. So of course, I'm excited about it. I'm super excited about it. Uh, and I want to play in it. I want to see all the new features. I want to get to play along with you guys and kind of roll with the hype of the new update. And I kind of bit myself in the foot a little bit with this series because I knew the holiday season was coming up, but I didn't know a new update was coming out. So what I did was I actually recorded about 11 or 12 episodes, depending on how I would have edited, edited them. I got myself all the way, this is my original Stardew Valley save file, the Meridia farm, the farm that you guys know and love, this is, I got all the way to day 11 of fall, and I pre-recorded about 11 or 12 episodes of this, long story short, the update came out after I had pre-recorded all of those, and you guys know that I upload the series about once a week, so we wouldn't have gotten to the new 1.5 update for about 11 weeks if I would have kept uploading like all of my pre-recorded stuff and the thing about stardew valley is once it saves it saves and you can't go back you can't go back to you know spring you can't go back to summer like whatever day it is is what day it is a lot of you guys know that if you've been playing stardew valley but if you're not familiar that's how it works there's no backups and i should have probably made backups but i didn't and that was a mistake on my part but i just wasn't thinking about it I honestly just didn't like genuinely expect the 1.5 update to come out so I was just cruising <laughs> I was just going ham recording so that I had videos to upload over the holidays and it ended up being kind of a like wah wah situation because now we're super far ahead in this world I feel like I want to get into the hype like I want to play 1.5 so what I did was I asked you guys over on my community tab on YouTube what you think I should do should I start a new save file should I keep my old save file or do you care do you not care and a lot of you guys said start a new save file and a lot of you guys said I don't mind either way or I don't care either way so that's what I did I saved a I made a new save file and I know some of you guys might think this is ridiculous but honestly it was really fun it was actually really fun to get to play the early game again and thank goodness I'm a content creator because I could go back and watch my videos and make sure that I was making the same money and getting us up to speed so we're gonna hop in I'm done I'm sorry I know that was very talkative we're like four minutes in already and I'm just spewing off a ton of stuff but let's hop into the game let's hop into 1.5 this is a very very exciting stuff and I can't wait to get into it and the first thing I actually want to do is I want to redecorate my bedroom <laughs> because this is a thing we can actually move beds now in the 1.5 update how cool is that so here okay let's let's um let's move some things so like I mentioned guys um I I made this save file almost exactly identical to my original save file uh the one that we were playing on together oh that's how you rotate wait hold on how did i do that oh i didn't know that's how you rotated okay you learn new things every day so yeah that's i wanted to make it as close as the original as possible because i wanted to like start from the same point i didn't want it to be weird but i wanted all of the 1.7 stuff also i have learned yes to make backups <laughs> of of my world um after i have definitely learned that mistake going forward i'm gonna make a backup of everything just in case and uh yeah let's just arrange things it always weirded me out that the bed 
headboard was not against the wall because that just seems like like i don't know that just seems like something that needs to to be a thing <laughs> like i'm i'm a headboard against the wall kind of girl i guess if that's a thing uh okay let's do that oh also you guys might have saw me sit down earlier that is a new feature in 1.5 as well so we're gonna get to sit down a lot and i think that's pretty cool now let's see should i put my rug there i kind of like that situation but i'm just i'm just going ham with the redecorating here this is so much fun i really really love this so along with the being able to redecorate things we do have uh new items we have new i think there was new hairs as well um also and there's some really important stuff that i'm going to talk about a little bit later on in this video uh just to kind of get you guys up to speed but another thing oh man okay the spears are very displeased today okay so it's gonna be a clear and sunny day okay so we're we're finishing up spring here we're finishing up spring and oops i did not mean to click on that again but that's okay we can listen to it's a beautiful sunny day again and let me move can i move this painting oh don't go to sleep don't waste a day okay, i just want to i want to just okay yeah i want to just grab this painting and i think i want to move it there i think that looks a little bit better yeah this is this is something let's move this hold on don't sit down <laughs> i don't know okay we're wasting time in this precious day so let's go and head out and uh i i did want to mention something to you guys too i am um, like i said i had to go back and watch a bunch of my videos to kind of get myself up to speed i actually didn't listen to the audio i just watched the video i realized i've gotten a lot better at this game and oh my gosh it's kind of brutal <laughs> i don't know how you guys watched me um go through the first like few season or the first few days of this game um now i will say of course this is a blind playthrough i want to remind you guys that this is a blind playthrough there i'm not gonna know everything right off the bat i didn't know anything about this game going into this game so it definitely is going to take me time to learn things and to get good at the game i'm not just going to automatically be good at it my first first year my first days you know like i don't know all of the things about this game and i'm learning new things every day so please bear with me um i am learning though and that's the best way to learn is through practice repetition and and you know just you know trying to like do a little research and figure things out on your own i think is a great way to learn things so we do have a little bit of money going into the next season. There is something I want to do with you guys today that I've been sort of avoiding. So yeah, there's there's been something in this series that you guys know uh, is not my favorite thing in the entire world, and that is fishing. I am not a fan of fishing in this game, and and you know, I have to say, I never gave it a fair shot and I want to actually go give it a fair shot with you guys because I like I said I've been learning a lot about this game and I've been playing a lot actually I have a, a switch world I've been playing on my Nintendo switch and I've just been having so much fun like practicing and learning and then doing things so I've gotten a lot better at fishing and I want to show you guys oh this is a perfect request for this uh, i need a carp for the stew i'm making can someone bring me one absolutely i can bring you a carp clip <laughs> i got your back dude and what we need to do is we need to buy a training rod because i don't think in the previous episodes i bought a training rod in this world i haven't bought a training rod this is like our 2.0 world and i haven't bought a training rod so that's what i'm gonna do I'm gonna go buy one. Ooh, let's say hi to Elliot just to kind of get that friendship up. The fresh air of this valley is good for the body and mind. He's so like philosophical. <laughs> He's like spiritual. Also, check this out, guys. This is the brand new shop, Willie's new shop. And I think eventually with 1.5, we can unlock some pretty cool things in Willie's shop, but I don't think we've done that yet i think that's gonna take time with this yeah it's locked so there's like a door there and stuff that's so cool i can't wait to see what's going down with that and look at this too we got new um fish tanks which is awesome i actually kind of want to buy these but i'm like no nash don't do it don't buy things because you gotta save your money for next season i want to go into next season with a lot of crops one thing that i did uh kind of not so great at the beginning of this series that i realized was 
I was just so timid to spend my money on crops and I don't know why because that's a really good way to make money early game and I was just kind of wanting to like hoard my money and save my money so I didn't really buy as much crops as I probably should have and sorry if I miss a fish here I'm kind of like in the zone talking so I mean I might miss one but uh yeah I was sh shocked <laughs> like kind of watching my videos back and and seeing oh oh I got some seaweed nice um yeah, I was shocked to see that I was so timid to spend my money. Another thing I was shocked about, since we're talking about it, was why the heck did I not go five levels down into the mines every time? I kept going back to level one, like every time. And I don't know why I was doing that. Cause I could, like, after I got to level five, I was like still going to level one when I could have went to level five and then got down to like 10, 15, 20, you know, like really early on. So there's definitely things I'm learning in this game that I, I, I look back now and I'm just like, why did I do that? Like, I know it's because I knew nothing about the game at the time and I just didn't realize, like, I don't know, I just wasn't really thinking all that much about it. I, I should have been paying more attention, I think. I'm sure I'll do more, you know, mistakes in the future, but that's all about learning, so it's okay. Uh, there we go. Okay, we've got a couple fish. Now, I'm gonna go in and sell these really quickly. Why, why, why Willy? <laughs> While Willy is here, because we can get a little extra money. So, this is what I've learned. I've learned to get the training rod until you're a couple levels up in fishing, and then switch to the bamboo rod, and it makes life so much easier, and at least that's how it was in my switch. I'm pretty sure this is the same, and and you guys saw that I got to fall in the like original save file, so I did have a little bit of time practicing in that save file. I didn't do too much. The, I mainly did the fishing on my switch, so I'm hoping that it's sort of the same. Oh, there's something we need to talk about. Okay, so you guys, I actually, um, there's a new feature in 1.5 that involves the community center. It's actually when you start your save file for the first time, which is a, a big reason why I wanted to restart the save file as well, because there's a huge update to the community center where you can get remixed bundles, which is awesome because it makes the bundles just different. So I wanted to come in here and look at this with you guys and see what kind of remixes we got. So I already did this one because uh, we did that early on in the series. Um, so we the construction bundle is the same, which is good, I guess. Uh, the exotic bundle is the same. No, I was hoping we would get some remixed ones. Okay, fall foraging. Okay, these all look the same. Oh no, hold on, okay. Wait a second here. Wait a second. Please tell me these are different. Ooh, I can check this one off. I think I have one of all of those. Ooh, this is different. Okay, fish farmers bundle. Look at this. Squid ink, age bro, and row. Those are definitely different. That is super cool. Oh, and we got different quality crops as well. Okay. Interest. Oh, and this is new as well. The Brewer's Bundle. Oh, look, this is awesome. I love this. Wine, juice, mead, pale ale, and green tea. That's going to be pretty awesome to do. Okay, Summer Crops. We're going to have to think about those soon. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That's a new feature in 1.5. You can actually remix your bundles when you're creating your world for the first time. You can go into like these advanced settings. Whoa, Master Fisher Bundle octopus blobfish look at that that's crazy a uh, scorpion carp lava eel how do i even get these things see this is the thing about the remix bundles like i don't i don't know how to get these oh i shouldn't have sold those oh crap i wasn't even totally i totally wasn't even thinking about these okay that's fine all right we gotta go get that cart for clint so i'm gonna go worry about that and i'm definitely gonna always think about bundles because i do enjoy them i think they're very fun so we're gonna think about those soon, but I wanna go get this carp. I wanna practice up my fishing. I think I might spend, oh, there's Robin, let's say hi. Uh, you've met my son Sebastian, right? He lives downstairs. I, in fact, have, he's very cute. Uh, he's a little shy, but I'm sure he'll warm up to you if you're nice to him. Ooh, I hope so, <laughs> cause he's a cutie. Uh, Robin has a hot temper. It's better to stay on her good side uh oh that's true she did kind of yell at lewis like the first day or she didn't like yell at him but she was like remember when she called our house crusty <laughs> that was pretty funny 
Uh, but here we go. Okay, so I want to do some fishing here. I think this is where we catch carps. Ooh, I even maxed that out. That was pretty awesome. So I want to do a little fishing montage with you guys. We'll see what I can catch. Hopefully, like I said, we can get Clint's carp. Looks like we're only catching driftwood, but I think we'll maybe have better luck if I keep trying. We caught the carp! We caught Clint's carp and I got a treasure as well. Looks like we got a little extra geo. That's pretty nice. Okay, sweet. Awesome. So I think I'll keep going. I think I'll keep going until maybe like hmm, let's see, it's Friday. Ooh. Um, hmm. Let me think here. Maybe we'll call it good actually. Maybe I'll catch one more fish. And we'll call it good. We'll go give uh, Clint the carp. Oop, can I get... Oh, no, I might lose this one. Uh, uh, okay, we're good. I gotta focus. Focus, focus, focus. Uh, but I, I have to say, I'm a little bit better. And I want to say thank you to you guys for uh, suggesting the training rod. Because it's definitely, definitely helpful. Oh, another geode. Nice, cool. But yeah, it's definitely helpful. It, it does help a lot. At the start of the game, I wasn't sure how helpful it would be. I, I didn't really know what I thought. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that it would be helpful, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why. I, was, I don't know why I assumed that, but uh, it definitely is, and it's worth, worth the time. If you're a new player and you're having trouble fishing, get the training rod. Like, I am so serious. Okay, where's the carp? We need to put the carp on the thing, and then we give it to the Clint, and we make the money. No, don't eat it, please. Uh, okay. Yay! Okay. Oh, is that the carp I requested? I really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Here's what I owe you. Very good. Okay. Awesome. So, we're making money. I want to get a little bit better at making money. Can we actually talk to him, too? Uh, the weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay near my shop year-round interesting man i can't wait for winter oh this place is hopping look at they dancing okay this is awesome let's just go chat with everyone since we're here i've been working hard all week i deserve a little relaxation on a friday night totally 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 uh handling salty fish all day makes uh me real thirsty i guess that's how that <laughs> works i think okay okay all the kids are hanging out too are they oh my gosh everyone's here i was wondering if i could sit in these chairs i can oh that's so cool 1.5 you're good you're so good uh don't you have work to do why is he so snarky you know i try to win him over with his friendship oh what's going on down here these two are chatting away okay marnie doesn't seem to notice that you're there Oh, because she's looking into Lewis's eyes like what? <laughs> uh, good evening. It's nice to see you socializing with the townsfolk. It's good to stop by once in a while and see uh, what the latest news is. Uh, okay, let's get out of here. Let's go back home. And uh, what's going on? Oh, uh, what is happening? Linus? Okay, Linus. Something's doing with Linus. Oh, George, okay. Something's going on. George is pissed. <laughs> Sounds like these raccoons are back again. Filthy varmints. Oh no. He thinks Linus is a raccoon. Okay. Uh, ah, you turned up at the right moment, Nash. I, how did I? Okay, I'm not going to question how I got came from over here. Uh, could you do an old man a favor? Uh, could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? Uh, they've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure to uh, give them a good scare so they never come back. Okay, so we're gonna go around the corner and find Linus. Interesting. Oh, he's a little sad. Uh, this was me. I'm sorry. Or it was me. I'm sorry. He's just hungry. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if it, if I don't take it. He's just he's hungry. He's hungry. Uh, do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? Oh man. Oh, he's he's gonna hit me with a tough tough um tough choice here so we have yes it's disgusting no it's a shame no it's a shame for the food to go to waste or yes it's illegal that's george's private property technically i don't know the laws of stardew valley so i don't know if it's actually illegal or not um no but you should get a job and stop leeching off of others that's so mean to say you know like he's gotta eat he, he lives up in his little tent and like 
you know, I don't, I don't even think he has a kitchen. Like the hot food is nice. So I'm going to say, um, no, it's a shame for the food to go to waste. Everyone's got to eat, you know? Um, thanks Nash. I knew you were an open-minded person. Oh, I feel good about what I'm doing and I'm not harming anyone. That's true. He's not harming anybody. Uh, you can go on home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. And you can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. Oh, Linus. Oh no, he's outside the saloon now. Oh, look at his face. Oh no, Linus. Oh my gosh, he caught, caught red-handed. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I know what you're doing, Linus. I know what you're doing. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Yeah, Gus, tell him. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just uh, make sure to dip them in my spicy marinara. That sounds so good. Go on, take it. But you guys, um, that is actually going to have to do it for this video. I know this was more of an update and kind of a talkative type video. And I promise they're not all going to be like this. Uh, I'm, I am going to get back into the gameplay and the swing of things. I just felt like it was really important to talk to you guys. I want to check and see if there's any collectibles. See, there is. This is why I always peek my head around because there's collectibles. And sometimes I like to go the long way because um, you can find, you never know who you're going to run into to talk to. And you also never know if you're going to find collectibles. So sometimes I go the long way just because I want to like be able to get collectibles and stuff like that. So some of you guys have noticed that and I wanted to address it because, uh, yeah, that's why I do it is because you can find some really interesting collectibles and stuff like that if you just kind of walk around. But anyway, uh, yeah, I know this was a little bit of a, like a more talkative episode. So I hope you guys, uh, don't mind that too much. Next episode should, we, we should get back into the swing of things and we should have a little bit more going on. Um, and we'll focus more on the game. There's a lot of new 1.5 update stuff that we need to get through. I know a lot of it is end game, but there's also a lot of stuff that we're just going to be able to explore together. So I'm very excited about that. I can't wait to get to that with you guys. I hope you are okay with this compromise of me starting a new world, but also at the same time, um, like just like kind of getting us to the point where we have left off together so i tried to make it seem like nothing changed and nothing really happened of course the loot tables in the game are different so i got a little bit different rewards for specific things um and another thing that i changed that i didn't mention earlier is um same with the caves as well as the bundles they're both remixed so the caves are remixed as well so i'm not going to get the same loot in the caves that you would in base game or like in the in just the original game before they added remixes if that makes sense but the game is telling me it's getting late so i should probably finish out this outro here thank you guys again so much for watching i hope to catch you in the next stardew valley episode you guys are amazing have a very beautiful wonderful day and a happy holidays and a happy new years and you guys are amazing i will catch you in the next one bye guys i leveled up my fishing i told you guys i'm better hey, ha -ha. <laughs> i'm getting better i'm gonna get better i'm gonna get this to level 10 don't you guys don't you guys worry it's gonna happen